Welcome to House Honeys, the podcast for fans and frenemies of the House Hunters cinematic universe. We're comedians and House Hunters super fans, Blair Postman and Sandy Benton. Along the way, we'll try to answer burning questions like, is there an upside to owning a haunted house? Does Hank hate the wallpaper in that dining room or just his boyfriend's parents? And who will get the dog when Miranda and Sean inevitably divorce? Each week, we'll discuss an episode of the extended House Hunters family of programs, along with our hilarious and HGTV-obsessed friends. There will be plenty of pop psychology hot takes and snap assessments of decisions by house hunters about where, and sometimes with whom, they choose to live. Woohoo! Sandy, we're back! We're doing a second episode! Doing it! We're doing it! We're committed! That's right! Despite our profound... ADHD. We are doing a second episode in a row. Listeners, thank you. Thank you for coming on board for episode two of House Honeys. A reminder that each episode of House Honeys will review an episode from the House Hunters Cinematic Universe. At the end of each episode of the podcast, we'll tell you what episode of House Hunters we'll be reviewing in the next episode of the podcast. But you never have to watch the episode of House Hunters we're reviewing in order to enjoy the podcast. You can just listen along as we unfold the tale. So also, if there are buzzwords that come up in the House Hunters or House Hunters International or any of the other spinoffs that you hear all the time or ones you've made up to describe elements of these shows or any other kind of lingo or vocabulary associated with the show, or if there's any episode you especially love or hate, please email us that information at househoneyspod at gmail.com. And if we read it on the podcast, you can be one of our honeys of the week and you will get some very cool podcast merch. That is househoneys, H-U-N-N-I-E-S pod at gmail.com. And if you really want to help, please follow, hit those five stars, leave us a great review, tell your friends, forward the episode. Now, I'm a little distracted, Sandy, because I have three cats and I have a plexiglass wall around me in my office at my desk so that I can do things. And all of them are staring at me right now through the plexiglass. And it's a little distracting. Oh, and there's definitely, definitely a fight about to happen. Okay, let us welcome this week our amazing guests. We are so excited to have comedians and longtime friends of mine, YouTubers, they're filmmakers out of Raleigh, North Carolina, Mark Brady and Shane Smith. Big round of applause, everybody. Woo! Thanks for having Thanks. us. Thank you. Hello. Woo! Hello. Look how nice an NPR Shane looks. And I Mark know. just got out of the gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's that I have lived in this house. Camera, camera <laughs> ready, Mark. Oh, is this and not? He, I, I was <laughs> in. The you look email. lovely. You look lovely. Thank you. No, I, I appreciate don't, it. Great. don't let him. Don't, Sandy. Don't. <laughs> Should I put on a cardigan? I feel like now I need no, to wear. No, no, no. You would look. You would look. Don't let her oh, in your head. God. Shane dressed for me. Yeah. <laughs> Shane dressed for me. We have a long history. And I don't know who Mark dressed for, but it wasn't me. Oh. Yeah. Guys, was- I've assembled very professional intros for you. Allow Uh-oh. me to read them for the readers. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, Mark Brady does not know how to be screen ready in a video, (laughs) does not follow instructions about. No, Mark Brady has been featured on the Late Late Show with James Corden. I'm too shiny. Is that what it is? You're not. You're you know what? You're just a shiny guy. Look at all those teeth you got. So (laughs) those are star quality teeth is what those are. (laughs) Um, ESPN, and you can hear him on Sirius XM in 2021. His debut comedy album, Incognito, reached number two on the comedy charts. He is one third of the popular Hummies VR comedy channel on YouTube. And the podcast is seen on Gaming Bible, Gameology and Gaming Bible is here again in this introduction <laughs> twice. Mm-hmm. So it must be it's very important. important. It's very important. And you do that with your your brothers. Is that right? Uh, brother and a cousin, yeah. A brother mm-hmm. and a cousin. Um, everyone, uh, hello, Mark Brady. Woohoo! Thank you, thank you. And uh, Shane Smith is a stand-up comedian, improviser, podcaster, and actor based in Raleigh, North Carolina. He co-hosted Raleigh's longest-running independent stand-up comedy showcase, The Dangling Loafer. Shane co-hosted the podcast Conspiracy Beer Me with fellow friend and comedian J.D. Scranton on 
on the Helium Comedy Network. He and JD currently host the new iteration of the podcast Weird Science, which delves into all things weird in the world of, wait for it, science. Mm. He's also been featured on HBO Max. Big round of applause again for Shay. Well, thank you. And thank Shay you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Great. Thanks for having us. Yeah. You know, it's I, I, I'm especially excited to have you guys on because you're funny and you're friends and you're very forgiving of all my foibles. Like, you know, you knew me when I was trying to get three minutes at an open mic. Uh, I still am. But you knew me when I started doing that. <laughs> and um, and also, though, Raleigh has now kind of become an epicenter for a lot of these HGTV shows. Oh, it has. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, because there's love it and list love it or list. It has been based there for many years. Yep, Is yep. That right? I see them every now and again. Yeah. And it seems like they kind of come through town a lot. It just seems like a good kind of big, but not too big market where it's not like, you know, just apartments, it's real houses and, there's a mix of people, whatever it is, something a bit pretty good airport, I guess. I don't know. But <laughs> they really have fallen in love with the Raleigh Durham uh, triangle there. They had, Well, they saw the dollar signs. They said, oh, there's houses here and people are moving here with money. I bet we can make a show. Mm-hmm. I bet we can. I bet we can make a show. And so they did. Um, today, um, we're going to be reviewing the House Hunters episode selected by the wonderful and talented Sandy Benton. A second chance in San Francisco. Or as I renamed it, two passive aggressive people who want different yeah. things, get back together and keep making bad decisions instead of breaking up. Sandy, you're going to lead us through this episode. Do Take it. Her away. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All righty. OK. Hi. Thanks for coming on here, guys. I think uh, Blair's naming of this episode was pretty generous. I think <laughs> I think we have someone who is maybe a borderline groomer. And his uh, former uh, child uh, boy, uh, um, <laughs> looking for houses under a thin veil of resentment and what appears to be something that could be eventually a domestic situation. <laughs> it hasn't already. We've got Danielle and Al. Their whole history is very questionable. We are introduced mm. to them as a couple uh, where... They met when he's older, and he seemed very <laughs> proud of that. Yes, he did. He did. Very proud of that. That was alarming. They lived together for eight years. They break up for five years. They're back. Well, I, would, I, I, I hate to stop us so early in, okay. but I think it's important to know that Al says, that they say that they met when she was still living in Cincinnati. He was a grown-up person with a profession, <laughs> like, at based in San Francisco. And he was out there on a project. Dude was just hooking up. Oh, yeah. Dude, I mean, it was killing time in Cincinnati. That's another name for this House Hunters episode. He was killing time in Cincinnati. And they show a picture from her at that time. And she looked like a senior at the University of Cincinnati or something like that. We Mm -hmm. can't prove that. We don't know that for a fact. Allegedly. 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 It's a a strong case. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, Yeah. We could yeah. prove it, though. We yeah. could, if we really wanted to put the time we in. wanted to. If we if we <laughs> if we were more passionate about what we did, Sandy and I could have probably gone back and found out. I thought about it. I thought yeah. about taking in, but I don't I don't I, I don't want to know. It's true. Let's just say it's true. It's definitely true. And did you already say what happened in their relationship after she moved out there? Uh, yes, they're together for eight years. They live together for eight years. They break up and are apart for five years. And then he gets into a tragic skiing accident. Mm-hmm. And he looks like a guy who gets into a tragic. Yes. Skiing On purpose. On yeah. purpose. Yes. A wounded I, man. <laughs> yeah. A wounded. That needs and, to know, be taken care of. <laughs> yeah. That needs to be fixed even. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Um, right. Oh, wants to be fixed. He said he even said something like this. He had a really weird plan. I can't find it exactly in my notes, but it says he says something to the effect of. And then we took this break that I thought would be for six to 12 months, but it wound up being five years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. but they stayed friends the whole time. And guess who came to the rescue when he got oh. a tragic scene accident? 
Danielle swooped right in, nursed him back to health. They re-fell in love. They realized we need to be together. And oh. I, think I think it's really important to note that he is a handsome guy. Like I okay. want to say yes. yes, yes, yes. An attractive guy. She first of all, the name of the woman is Danielle, right? Yes. And she always sounds like to me that she is on the verge of crying. Always. The entire yeah. time. I don't yeah. think I ever see her actually cry. But and I rewatched it to find out But she sounds like she's always on the verge of crying and she's always saying things like we've been given a second chance. Right. Like yeah, I, I think that's her way of trying to tell the crew that they're that she needs help, but she right. can't yeah, say it's it like they he's closed right there. thumb in the right. fist thing. But it's like it's right. different. Yeah. I, I feel like she is perfected. We don't see her cry. I think she's mm. made sure that no right. one's seen her cry. I wasn't going to bring this up this early, but now I feel like I must. As big of a, like, a vapid, like, not really nice kind of moron as he seems to be, he's climbing on younger women while he's in town for a, for a contract, I think she's a very aggressively passive aggressive. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, very, very much so in my what do you think, Sid? I think I wonder what she was like eight years ago. I think it is possible not to put it all on him. <laughs> sure, but, sure. No, yeah. Know, the grown up in the initial situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. How much how much was like brought how much blossomed out of this horrendous dynamic? She moved out there. She moved. I, I mean, I think she made fetch happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think she yeah. was tr trying to make this a relationship. You're my boyfriend now. We are boy. I left the sweater at your hotel room because you don't have an apartment here because you don't live in Cincinnati. <laughs> and I, I think there was a lot of I think there may have been a lot of a lot of that as soon as she became a person to him mm -hmm. uh -huh. it was gonna go down no matter who that person was that's what yeah. i was gonna say i think the i i think it's almost like he likes the idea <laughs> of how this whole thing started and the idea of them how they first met and that's locked in his head yes yeah. and he also i'm not i'm jumping way ahead but there's a, the last line he says at the end of it we'll come <gasps> i'm sure we'll talk about it. Yes. i'm not gonna say it but that very much speaks to what you said mark Oh, there's a there's a couple of lines in there that I just go. There, <laughs> there, <laughs> are, Jesus. there are some red flags. <laughs> um, well, the and also I was upset because they have a dog and I felt like they took too long to tell us the dog's name, which yeah. I thought was weird. I thought the dog was like a prop. And also he has a daughter. Like, how old Wait. do we think? the? Oh, you're getting. Are you, I no, I, getting I watched this twice. He's oh. got a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. The dog got more screen time, but he does. I have a daughter. Miss the daughter altogether. <laughs> That's who he's doing. They when they run down the fake like like as if it's spontaneous list of stuff that they both want or don't want or whatever in the house. They're talking to his adult daughter. Danielle, the girlfriend, is definitely closer in age to the daughter than the father, her boyfriend, I think. Mm -hmm. They yeah. had to mention she was a daughter once. You were so mesmerized by his head of hair that he's very handsome. Is he a like... zaddy? Is he a zaddy? He's a zaddy, he, right? He is a little bit. Here's the thing mm. is that I I am a Danielle as well. All right. There are oh, so many of us out I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> what? <laughs> I would have I would have absolutely fallen for this guy's book. Oh, okay. I was the person who left the sweater in the hotel room, but they're like, I'm not gonna deal with that. And then we mm. don't buy a house together in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> and you're out of uh, sweater. <laughs> better after watching this and like i it really gets, lucked out it gets very expensive to be that yeah. kind of dater like if you're going mm -hmm. to leave your belongings everywhere you've got to really you know have some money to back that up if i guess i didn't really well, do this i feel like i'm painting an incorrect picture i just well, mean it hmm. spirit here <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Right. i have something at a woman's house and she just wouldn't return it so it's like a cheaper version of that <laughs> oh mm -hmm. yeah okay i've done that i've done yeah. that yeah i've yeah. also like it's just a sweater just Move on, Not, you know, move on. Time yeah, to move yeah. on. I've Go to Goodwill. Been like, I'll never see that again. <laughs> I mean, it, but if you've got a sweater like Shane, it's got yeah, this card. If it was just might... this 
regular shirt then yeah, you might, yeah. You, you might, maybe you just don't have grown-up clothes like, I don't, like I don't, made, so yeah. you don't you don't care about retrieving to be them fair i just That's i just true. dress like ricardo montalban in uh star trek 2 where he's calm i think I yes what do these two allegedly each want in a in a house or a real place to real live? quick about the daughter <laughs> They were talking. They were talking oh, about getting, yeah. having a guest room, and yeah. the daughter was not mentioned and <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. being a guest. At all. The mom so, was going to stay. The mom, and that was it. He, he said, he, "She says if someone could stay," and he's like, "For a couple of days." And then he goes, yeah. "And you know, this has something to do with an argument from the past." And then he goes, "I mean, if it's your mom, she could stay a little longer." Yeah. Like, that is definitely a continuation of a why does your mom stay here so fucking long conversation because <laughs> yeah. they're because uh he and uh, the mom are the same age that's why right that's right yes it's very awkward for him yeah to like be in that much proximity to a woman his own age it really shows the the difference sorry right. sandy um, yeah so sorry go for all these extra rooms they're looking for none of it's a room for the kid i right. don't it's not a kid. It's well, a grown... I mean, a room for the dog. I think she's like a lawyer. Like, she's a grown, very grown on her own woman. A place for a lawyer daughter to stay when she's in town. Lawyer daughter. I think she, I, in fairness, I think she lives in San Francisco. Oh, she probably has a house they want. Probably. Her budget is between $1.4 and $1.7 million. Plus. Plus. Yeah, plus, plus. one point seven was on the higher end. He did say uh, his budget was one point four to one point four five. I was like, "Whoa, really swinging for yes. the fences <laughs> right. for that extra five k <laughs> yeah, yeah. closing costs, you old right. man." <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He works for a builder. She works for a, a real estate developer. It may just be more high maintenance, or she may actually know the reality of the situation better. But so she's the one pushing for 1.7 or more if necessary. Anytime I hear one point anything million, I just sort of go, well, it's all the same. It's millions of dollars. Um, yeah, at yeah. that point, it's just fake money. No. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, you know, they got a lot. Uh, <laughs> well, especially when you see what you can get for nearly two million dollars in San Francisco. So, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is which is. Pretty good, but not as good as you would think. They seem mostly big on a driveway and or like a garage somewhere for the cars. And then two the bathrooms. Two bathrooms seems to be the other major focus. The bathroom sounds like a really big deal, but also the location. And I'm not an expert on Northern California in any way, shape or form. But she keeps saying, and look, I support women. Oh, no. I support other women. I care about them Uh and I want them to succeed and be happy. But she keeps saying with the almost crying voice, San Francisco has my heart. Mm -hmm. San Francisco Mm -hmm. has my heart. San Francisco has my heart. And she says it a lot. Mm -hmm. He says (laughs) my wallet has my heart or he doesn't say that. But is and he's been living out in Oakland. She likes Victorian. He likes mid mod. I think that that's a great metaphor for the two of them. That yeah, she she does keep saying this thing has to have a San Francisco zip code almost. Like I don't care where it is as long as it's in San Francisco. Yeah. Yes. Also, has she seen the news? They actively shoot uh, grapes with a slingshot at homeless people out in front of their place, which we're this not advocating. Wasteland. No, right. I thought it was horrible. That. Not my friend. Is, not advocating, friend but. But a good idea. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course Mark not. is not a see, Mark is not a good guy. He's not. He's not liked. Mark knows what camera ready means, but he dressed down because he didn't want you to think he was uh, baby from uh, from American Psycho. Right, exactly. Oh my god, that's my husband's favorite book, by the way. Should I be concerned anyway? Yes. Um, well, I yeah. can't read. So. Have American Psycho in my <laughs> notes. That's wild that it's already come up. oh really <laughs> well so i mean i just think it's like i like san francisco and i like oakland and i like the very ornate victorian house and i like clean lines of mid mod mid mod victorian yeah. 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 let's just fucking break up again like i feel yeah. like that is they're already telling us that in the beginning i kind of think i realize that that comes up a lot but they both seem to really mean it 
Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be I don't want to be like play psychologist here, but she did mention. No, that no, she, that's the whole podcast. Yeah. Oh, okay. please, <laughs> my please, yeah, please. With a, all disregard for any sort of nuance or subtlety, feel free to try to diagnose these people. Great. Fantastic. So here it comes. <laughs> so, um, so she kept mentioning that her aunt, like she would visit her aunt in San Francisco. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like she remembers spending time down there. And my thought was kind of like she feels very like I want to go back to a time, maybe the day before I met this man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so like there's this like when to, when a simpler time and before he was in my life and uh yeah so when you know when she was a girl right, so. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. even when they met in cincinnati it was right. a kin sierra her cincinnati kin sierra you're right <laughs> and that's when he found her yeah yeah so he's I mean- she's hanging on to that a little bit yeah I my my formal diagnosis here. If we're we're gonna get into the terms, which is a little we call early. this we call this part of the show, uh, fixer upper, mm. which oh, is okay. um uh, also another HGTV show, and we think it's clever. Sandy, what's yeah. your official <laughs> yeah. fixer upper diagnosis? Yes, this is where we irresponsibly give a yes. name to what we think they have. Sure. I think I think he's got some hints of narcissism, obviously. Uh, and I think she's got probably some light CPTSD, which I recognize is not an officially recognized diagnosis. It's not in the DSM. It's a, it's accepted here on the House Honey's yeah, podcast. But, you know, and I, I think she's got that. I think she might have some attachment issues as well. Um, Are you a certified uh, person? Because you said not, D- DSM. I, I was like, man, she's got the book. She's got the manual. I know. Oh, right? oh. Like, yeah, no, just I'm just I'm recreationally. <laughs> I just peruse so, the well, medical. A lot of, yeah, book you of... gotta learn about the others. If you yeah. if you have some mental illnesses, you gotta cover all the bases to know. Well, that... you want to know everything that you got, right? And also maybe some things that you're aspiring to later <laughs> yeah. on in life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so Sandy's Sandy's self talk. Oh, Sandy's good. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. A web MD psychologist. Oh, so, yeah. No, no, she pulls out the full book, like the real oh, legitimate yeah. book. Yes. Nice. It's Hell yeah. Pretty scary. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No. Can I do my 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 segment? My segment. <laughs> Besides all the ones that I interrupt and make my segment because I talk over because I get too excited. Listeners, this is a new podcast. One of our segments is called Fixer Upper, where Sandy officially diagnoses people, even though it's irresponsible because we are not formally trained in any way. And Sandy is a very competent amateur psychologist, however. And my segment is what's up with their real estate agent and their real estate agent who they meet is named Tabitha Peterson. She is an old friend of Danielle's. And she said, I knew Danielle before they met. And she was said, I was with her by her side during the and after the breakup. And then she just says, and now we're coming full circle. Mm-hmm. Like she kind of like yada, 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 the getting back together part. Right. I don't think she's a fan. I don't no. think she's a fan. No, yeah. you, I, that, is that the was worst, palpable. Yeah. The worst situation to be in as a husband is uh, someone that despises you as your realtor. You're never going to get what you want. Oh, P.S. They're not married. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not married. They're not married, but you and know. that's the saving grace. I hope that. <laughs> yeah. that way. So what do we got here for our first house uh, that uh, they're meeting Tabitha Peterson, friend uh, of the gal. First house with Tabitha. We've got a Victorian in San Francisco. Um, it's got a clawfoot tub, which he seems very upset about because yeah. apparently he keeps falling out of the tub in her current apartment. Well, he's older, so he needs to sit down <laughs> right. in yeah, the yeah, bathtub yeah. anyway. He and already broke a leg. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. trying to kill him because she already broke. He already had like a barely, they always, he kept saying they almost had to amputate his leg. Mm-hmm. Well, he and, said he did it skiing, but I bet he did it in a tub in the lodge. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he slipped in the hot tub. Or <laughs> skiing shit. trip, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> trip, a trip. skiing accident. And by skiing, I like had a lot to drink and slipped on the hot tub. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't want to say I'm on his side, but I do agree with him about the bathroom. So keep going, Sandy. Sorry. Oh, claw foot tubs are a nightmare. They, they're very pretty, but they're terrible to have. It, it's and, true. And the tub is... As close to the sink, it's super close to the sink. Yes, very you close. could you could take a shower and pee in the sink if you <laughs> needed to. If, 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 if you were a man or a woman, 
scar or at least you know like shave in the mirror or whatever right yeah you absolutely and the thing is they keep talking about two bathrooms this is the only bathroom yeah. and it's split up so the toilet's in a little closet like across the hall and then the sink and the bathtub are in another room so i guess if you go to the bathroom you can walk across the hall to wash your hands unless they're just not doing that yeah i love this idea uh, of a split bathroom because <laughs> how many times have you been like i gotta do my business and it's like but i gotta shower and it's like well i guess you know what's you know what really time. helps in that situation hmm. two fucking bathrooms oh yeah that's a good idea <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I, well, I, I like the division of the mm. I thought it was weird. They put the sink with the shower, but otherwise mm. I thought that was a good setup. And it it's except it for really constantly tight. falling out. It yeah. seems promising. And the wood under the tub he didn't like because he's like, it's yeah. a tub and there's a wood under it. That's crazy. And you're like, <laughs> this guy fucks with water. He gets it. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> he he's got some kind of. Do we need to put a coaster underneath the (laughs) tub? (laughs) Yeah. What the hell? Some sort of of bunch of mats. But the now also, though, this is a very Victorian duplex, right? They they share it with someone Mm -hmm. or like there's it's there's two. I'll call them condos in in this structure. They they have an upstairs neighbor, which I do think it is a pretty big factor. I've lived in one of these in college and we we had a uh, quite a beef going with our upstairs neighbors. So if it doesn't go well, and I feel like with these people it might not go well, yeah. it's a problem. Yeah, they don't even it, like each other as a couple. Right. Yeah. They're not yeah, yeah, yeah. with other people. I don't yeah. kind of like because there's a really cute outdoor space, but they have to share it. Yeah. And like and they're like, well, do we have to like can we leave furniture out there? We gotta talk to people, get along and you know yeah. so you seem to feel it'll be a problem. Yeah, well, that's a that's the thing. There's one bathroom and it is, I think, a super cute like there's definitely a lot of really cute things about this apartment. There's a lot of detail. The kitchen is nice. There's a lot of there's little tin tiles on the wall. Yes, wall. there's a fun. lot of carved wood and pressed tin tiles. Yeah. And I don't know all if that, that tin was actually real, honestly, because she said tin is typically used on ceilings. But yes, those, I is. think it was it was just a textured wallpaper they painted over. I didn't want to. It looked like right. te- a texture yeah. covered in lead paint. Like yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah. Lead. <laughs> yeah it's lead tile. Yeah. 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 Is that going to be a problem? And there is <laughs> yeah. parking for both of them, but it's tandem. Which is annoying, but I think if you're in San Francisco, you take it. Yeah. But I, I, I and it's just a wonky thing. Like the the bedroom's a wonky shape. The the split bathroom is wonky. The the clawfoot tub, and it is basically it's one point five million dollars. And the bedroom <laughs> is at the front of the house, and she comments on how public that is, and says, "Well, this feels really public," which I think. <laughs> yeah. For her to have just everything being more public for her seems safer. And I think that's better. <laughs> you know what else is public? <laughs> a television show. So <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Oh, people are gonna public. see me. We right want there. our privacy. Well, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. Why will they leave us alone? I know. <laughs> so there are three bedrooms. It's really there's a lot of cuteness here, but it's already over. And they're already saying, because this, I think, is in 2022, if I looked. It was, uh, or at least released in 2022. So it's pretty recent enough Mm -hmm. that there's like crazy housing prices are going crazy at this time. San Francisco is one of probably the two or three places in the country it's going craziest. And it's already, you know, uh, what, like a half million or something over what he wants to spend. And with the admission that in this market, it's really hot in this market. You know, a lot of people are going to get into a bidding war like yeah. they're they're pricing it lower than they think they can get it. Uh, oh, here's one of his fun lines. This is what I mean by aggressively passive aggressive. So it says, I just see more and more projects in here. Small <laughs> bathroom project, small kitchen project. Two things I've never heard anybody say. Yeah. Yeah. But he's yeah. right. He's he's not. That's the problem. He's not like factually incorrect. He's just a dick about it. He he's a, a dick dickhead. He is. Yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah. he's like, we got all these projects. We got the, this room and that room and you and point to her. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like, <laughs> she's a pro. It's almost like he's a dad. Yeah. Um, it's almost like it. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to teach his daughter. Well, 
Yeah. Um, I did find it funny that he, he was like, he's like, my thing is like, I, I really want to, I'm looking for a place with like, you know, a, a character, a lot of character. And I was like, well, that's ironic because she doesn't have a personality. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right. It's, She's just kind of one kind of tone. Yeah. I was yeah. Like, just oh, almost almost breaking into hysterical tears is not yes. a personality. It <laughs> is a personality. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very endearing. All right. You're right. People okay. love people who seem like they need to be saved. They right. like it. Yeah. Uh, he, he, him too, because he had yeah. a broken yeah. leg. So he's like, that that's I think what attracted them to each other. Yeah, like, yes. I need help. You need help. Let's just try to do this together. This is like the I Stephen King book, Misery. Right. <laughs> yes. I, I want to know more about her dynamic with her mother because I think her, I, that, well, I mean, I know we don't learn that other than her mother comes to stay a lot. <laughs> Apparently, problem, but... apparently, maybe longer than he had liked one time and they got in a huge fight about it. That's what it seems like. Um, do we, Sandy, do we have anything else we need to cover on the hate Ashbury Victorian duplex? Uh, I think the only other thing to mention is this one is, I think, wins out of all three of them for most likely to be haunted. Oh, oh yeah. That's that haunted, important, too. But, like, you know. Let me ask you this. Let's pretend, you know, it's like, oh, it's 1900 and there was the earthquake or the fire, pick whichever. And I'm a, I'm a ghost from that time. And now... They've split your house into a duplex a hundred years later. Where do you get to haunt both? Do you have to pick one or can you go in and out wherever? Yeah. I, I, I would think that it's the whole residence as long as that address uh, right. or, or that, that physical house, because I, I, I guess at the time they, you don't break it up and go, Oh, this is, we're splitting this into two houses. And the ghost goes, well, well shit, I am. All right. Well, I guess I'll just stay downstairs. Just my stay knees in are my starting to hurt. Yeah. Like, exactly. yeah. I feel they can go up and down ghosts, but they can't go left and right. So they can't go to right. different properties, you but they can't. go as high and low as they want. Yeah. I think Vertical, the address. I think the address was an important point, Mark. The and you cannot like I bought two row houses, which you could never do down in San Francisco. But I it's not I bought two row houses, knocked down the walls. And now the ghost can haunt both of those formerly two separate addresses. I think they can only haunt the one address. Agreed. I'm pretty. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty confident. About that. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. okay, can I can I mention some things that uh, we've not brought up yet that I think Please. are very okay. hilarious? OK, uh, right off the bat, you <laughs> said this would be perfect for my nine foot couch. Yes. Oh my god, oh that god, fucking, fucking couch. 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 <laughs> oh, no, yeah, this is a nightmare. You mean this couch from Clayton Barrel that yeah. you paid too much for? Yes. That yeah. just That's looks more like a anything. looks like a couch. Yeah, it's tufted. I was like, you know, tufted went out in 2021 and you're in 22. Mm -hmm. She's coming it's back. Massively yeah. uncomfortable. A very low back of a couch. Yeah. He and probably can't get a sit background. in it. We get a background of what appears to be a very college setup <laughs> yes, with the, like yeah. the yeah. lights and the all yes. that scary, and then just this low, long ass, uncomfortable couch. Yeah. She is, yeah. She is yeah. she is stuck in when in the year she met him. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah. Which is what happened. That's, that's the other thing, Shane, that we've brought up on already on the on the first episode of this podcast is that people go into these houses on all these different versions of house hunters and they always talk about whether they have their furniture would fit or not. Mm -hmm. Was Do I have too much furniture? Do I have not enough furniture? And it's like, dude, you bought your furniture <laughs> at Ashley. It is particle board. If you left it in the rain for five minutes, it would literally fall apart. Yes. <laughs> and it, it, it's a little harder to find a house, especially nowadays, than a yeah. couch. What do you if if, it, if it's too much furniture? Guess what? You're going to have a payday. Get rid of, yeah, you yeah, get exactly. to sell some of it. Yeah, it's crazy. So that was one thing I want to mention. Then before we get go on, there's two other things. Uh, one was when they walked out to the backyard. Uh, he said a great line. Uh, he followed it up that cleared it up, uh, which was great. But he walked out there. He goes, so how does outside work? I was like, this motherfucker never been outside. <laughs> he was, he's like, wait, you put a couch here? You can do whatever you want. I'm like, dude, you've never been outside. Do what you want to do. And then, Only the <laughs> one time when he tried to ski and it went really bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> how does the snow work? Uh, uh, so I thought that was hilarious. And then one one last thing I just want to say is when they were talking about the parking, they're like, oh, it's tandem. Like, Because typically... 
we got to, you know, move our cars when it shifts or we just pay for parking tickets. I was like, oh, you just you're the people that just pay for parking tickets. You're just like, uh, I don't yeah. want to move yeah. my car. No, fuck like, society. That says a lot about you. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, glad you brought that up. They do not care yeah. about society. Yeah, no, not yeah. at all. Oh, and Tabitha says as they're going in, just to, I want to get all his really aggressively passive aggressive quotes in here. Again. <laughs> Tabitha, who is definitely team Danielle, although I don't think I'd be team either of these guys, mm -hmm. um, is she's like shows them the Victorian says quintessential San Francisco. Right. And now goes. Yeah. Expensive. Expensive. Yeah. It's yeah. like even his passive aggressive snarkiness is like a dad joke. Yeah. But and he stands like he's constipated. So he's clearly like <laughs> it's a great. Oh, just watch they are the always the both smiling in the most uncomfortable way. <laughs> they smile so much and it's so much rage and sadness mm -hmm. in yeah. their smiles. He also stands like he's in like a jeans ad from the 90s. <laughs> well, <laughs> got a little bit of a like hook in the hand hook in the loops and that's yeah. what they were wearing in Cincinnati when they were <laughs> when they, when were, they were consultants, right. software consultants hooking up with all the babes working the weekend shift behind the bar at the Courtyard Marriott. Yeah, um, yeah he uh, and his uh, his eye rolls are. Oh, my oh, God. Cartoonish. Amazing. Oh, I yeah. They're... Cartoonish eye rolls. <laughs> and, yeah. and and he does a glare. He does a really like <laughs> yeah, aggressive like, like but they, they, they uh, like she doesn't look when he does it. But it's this like how fucking dare you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Usually feel. from the back seat of a car when they're driving to a place. And he's like, yeah. Something I, else I noticed. I and then I hold it back. Yeah. <laughs> I decided it was because Tabitha and Danielle are friends. But I did think it was interesting that he always every single time rode in the back when they were riding yeah, around. With I Tabitha thought that was weird, too. I'm like, is this progressive? Is he just knows that he doesn't want to sit next to Tabitha because Tabitha fucking hates his guts? I don't know, but interesting. I didn't think of that at all, I guess, because they're friends and he was. I don't know. It's just yeah. most of the time. That's not how it works. Mark's like, experience. I always sit in the back. Wrong. <laughs> I actually get on the trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we have totally a there. truck. It's me, no, you... the dogs in the flatbed part of the truck. You're right, because usually you just drive and you meet the real estate agent at the place, right? right? Or is that in other episodes? Dudes, Do they get in dudes, the car with? Dude, sit in front. Dude, dude sit, sit in the front. front. Oh, dude, dude sit in front. Okay, yeah, yeah. Dude, sit in front. Um, I guess I'm used think... to sitting because you're a little taller, and it's like, oh, you need the. Well, need that's the what room. they always say. Okay, yeah. But then you also <laughs> don't get any. Some of us are five foot one and a half, maybe uh -huh. still, and uh -huh. like also to have control over the radio. Sandy, what do we have for house number two? All right, house number two. We've got an updated ranch with a mid-century modern feel in Oakland. Century, that's when he was born. Is that correct? Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's the like the house he grew up in. That's it's, a, it's, a, it's a ranch, so he doesn't have to go up and down steps. And how much is it? Less than a mil, right? Just Nine. under a mil. Yeah. Now, that's knowing right. that every house is going to probably get bitted up in this market, but still, it starts under a million. And I, I'm just laying my cards on the table here. This is the house I would have not knowing anything about the geography, barely knowing anything about San Francisco and Oakland, not taking into account anything like where are my friends? Where is my job? Nothing like that. All right. That I think this is a house I would pick. But um, any one. any reasonable person would have picked that house. Okay. The best one. Easily the best one. OK, uh, so what do we got with this house, Sandy? They don't have to share the backyard with anyone, which they will seem thrilled about because bad at sharing. Um, mm -hmm. Clearly, they've, yeah. They've got the two separate bathrooms, full separate bathrooms. Also good, bad at sharing. Um, yeah. Uh, lots of light. Lots of they're 30 minutes from San Francisco in the car, which doesn't sound that bad. 30 minutes in New York, you're like, oh, so you live two miles away. OK. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, 30 minutes up here yeah, yeah. is perfect. That's like, like getting wow, the next door. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah exactly. So I, I think 30 minutes is close. What really annoyed me was he kept saying like lounge, like we'll, we'll lounge out here, oh, yeah, we'll yeah. lounge here. Like, oh, this is a good place to lounge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> his time. That was that was the slain. <laughs> his leg yeah. was almost amputated <laughs> yeah. in a skiing related hot tub accident. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He has to lounge. Yeah, he likes <laughs> to be prone at all times. Right. Clearly. <laughs> but, no but I just thought 
the phrase hang out like oh we'll hang out out here but lounge seems like he's laying down everywhere he goes <laughs> yeah well currently yeah. you weren't in your prime in the 70s because yeah. <laughs> he's probably younger than me i he's said probably... that's a... <laughs> but that's the way he makes himself seem in this right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. i did like in he... this lounge yeah <laughs> right? he, he, he did try to throw us off though because he's like the bathroom tub he's like what did he say i wrote it out he goes uh uh, it's a square tub, I guess. Uh, I like this, but I don't want to bring the seventies with us. I was like, yes. okay. Yes. okay. And and she's yeah. over there, like, what? What <laughs> is the seventies? Yeah, what's the seventies? <laughs> right. yeah. Before they even go in the fucking house, or at least, a, you know, the way they edit it up before they go into the house, she says again, "I will try to keep an open mind, but you know, my heart is set on San Francisco." Mm-hmm. Except she's oh, not keeping an open mind. A very no. deliberate eye glare from him. Oh he yeah, was, yes. And... Oh. His eyes said, "Never heard that before." Yeah, and you know they edited out forty times she said that in the episode. Oh, yes, yeah. they kept oh, three yeah. or four. Yeah, and then she walks in and says, "Wow, this is a super cute house, though." Yeah, it's like, yeah, well, maybe you should keep a fucking real open mind instead of the fake one. <laughs> I, I yeah. think close <laughs> mind. I thought it was a little weird that she said, oh, you can see there's everything feels really green. And like, I mean, I guess there's there's a couple trees outside, but they're at like the intersection of like a quiet road. But it's mostly well, up there. They Sandy. show a couple rows and she's like, it's so green. And I I thought that was kind of stupid. But I, <laughs> her, her I heart, like, Sandy, and her experience with foliage are in san francisco yeah it's limited it's limited yeah. i i did like that they're on a little bit of a hill because i think every time mm-hmm. i see something at an intersection i feel like that's just more opportunities for a car to run into your living room and kill you oh, oh yeah geez. it happens it happens all the time <laughs> yeah wow all is time. that a is that a real fear of yours yes it is uh okay. but yeah, it it does happen. Yeah. Sandy's scared of cars coming. I'm just writing notes for future episodes. <laughs> <laughs> through window needs to live on a hill. Must Not live even on, the window. Could be through must the wall. You know, could live be. A lot of times through cars the window, go through, through the wall. They go through whatever. Through yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, must thing, live on a hill. Okay. One thing they said a bunch was like, that window is great. And it's like, not the view. Yes. <laughs> Just yeah. the window itself is a really nice window. Double often, pane. Yeah, look at <laughs> that. Thick. Look at that. Not painted. I don't know yet. what is going on in her apartment. <laughs> I know. But it is, cannot be good. No. It's because it, the only thing in there is the couch, probably, and a clawfoot tub, apparently. But <laughs> again, during this part, she says, apropos of nothing, she says, Al and I, we have a we have a second chance, a new beginning, okay. a, a fresh start. And in relationships require some compromise, but but finding a home that works for us, it's it's definitely going to be challenging because we're (laughs) very different people. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's very you nailed upsetting. It. Yeah, that, really yeah you crushed the impression. That is yeah, what yeah. she. That's good. It's not exactly what she sounded like, but it is what she felt like. Yeah, they, yeah. they did. Her. She did keep saying like, "We have a second chance," and I'm like, "This is the the way you, how many times you're saying this is making me feel very uncomfortable for you." Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, you're about to have a third chance, lady. The kitchen was a little wonky. Yeah, but she's gonna. She's already. If she gets the Victorian, she's already doing shit in there. She said, yeah, so I don't she know. wants to pull down the walls. I would what I would love for her to do is do like a glory hole situation with her couch. Like it's right. just the end of a couch just pokes through a hole in the wall and just one person can sit in the kitchen on one side and everybody else is watching TV on the other side. You know, Sandy, if a car a nine footer, the, dude. Yeah, it's huge. nine footer. <laughs> yeah. if, a, if a car from the street would drive through the wall, that would make a nice shape hole for the couch so it's not all bad when that happens sandy sometimes it's it not that bad. if you can control it go for it if, if it's a controlled situation if it's a controlled hit that's mm. fine yeah. well con- i wouldn't say control hit in the presence of this these two because uh, well, that <laughs> might give them some <laughs> ideas props to the makeup lady uh for oh yeah the show Scary. i had to deal all with that, that mascara yeah. it's very yeah. hard have you ever guys ever had mascara run it's very hard to redo that. You kind of have yeah. to start from scratch all over again. Any other thoughts, Sandy, uh, on on House yeah. Two before we? Uh... So that she was like, "Oh, this is like surprising. Like this is good. Like, oh, houses but, are nice. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah." She's like, "Wow, this is <laughs> yeah, houses, yeah. whole this is... houses, yeah, great." But like, 
as but you just knew with the San Francisco address, it was like mine's already made up. Yeah, yeah it yeah. felt like yeah, she's yeah. yeah, she's a she's a she's a sucker for a label. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we get to go back to San Francisco. Isn't that right, Sandy? Where we go next? We journey back into what I have noted as the most American psycho of the choices. Mm-hmm. Um, a okay. Condo in San Francisco. Um, it's honestly, I hated it. It's 1.63 million. Yeah. 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 But she says million. there are five units for sale in the building. And people are fleeing San Francisco. And mm-hmm. so there might actually be a little bit of room to, to bargain, right? to bargain, to get the, you know, to 0.61 million or whatever. They yeah. sounded really happy about that. I would have looked at mm-hmm. multiple open units as maybe a bit of a red flag, but, it, right. uh, but it was huge. It looked like a huge building. It's so huge. five it's huge. But it's also a condo for over a million dollars, which I can't get on board with. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, but I think standard. that's a reality in San Francisco and New York. That's what it is. And Raleigh, Raleigh. Right, honestly. And Raleigh. Yeah. Raleigh has gotten really expensive. My God. Wilmington, North Carolina. Yeah. Is so expensive. I sold my little townhouse there like a couple of years ago. Home. It it was not worth that. I know what you're saying, Sandy. It's not a warm place. But there is a dirf, different version of me that's like, I am single, older lady with cats. I want to be near stuff. I, I'm going to get all my food delivered. I'm going to have somebody at the front desk, like, bring me all my packages. I'm going to like, I'm going to still have, you know, I'm a, you know, some kind of salesperson or lawyer or whatever. I work long hours. The gym's there. There's a party room. I don't ever have to fix anything. There's a lot of closet space. Boom. It's easy. It's it's easy to live in that apartment. You could sell this place in a heartbeat. That's a great pitch that and hey, they, it should be a realtor. They, you well, you know, <laughs> there's there's many paths, uh, you know, the road not taken. <laughs> they they seem pretty into it the whole time. It's got a little pantry. It's got their window. That pantry is not little. That pantry is huge. It's got a huge. Excuse pantry. me. Uh, it's got a one point something million dollar pantry uh, and closets and closets, and which closet. is pretty huge. Yeah, yeah. The kitchen was and small back. as hell, though. The kitchen, the kitchen itself was, was very small. Yeah. It was. But you're not but you're you, not cooking there. You're just if you're alternate, out. if That's you're true. alternate Blair Postman, you're either going out to eat, you're getting it delivered or you're getting like a, a you know, you're getting a pre-made whatever from Whole Foods because you can't cook. So, mm. you know, it's for show. The That's kitchen for me. Yeah, that that one, that one's relatable. I <laughs> it's got diagonal wood floors, which he seems to think is very fun. The they chevron. The chevron. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, no, the there was the, the diagonal in the chevron living room, time. the chevron in the bathroom. Oh, you're so, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. chevron right. is two diagonals, so that probably blew their mind. It was two <laughs> different blew directions. His fucking yeah. mind. What? what is happening? <laughs> and the chevron seemed to be really popular around the time they first met. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, that's that true. Was, yeah. That was, yeah. you know, a real throwback for her. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm surprised he didn't want. Can we get popcorn ceilings in here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I get a phone on the wall with a long cord? <laughs> you know what? I would like a phone on a wall with a long cord. It feels like it's got heft. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you're really doing something. Anyway, um, the uh, it, the pantry and the closets were great. The bathrooms considering it was a condo and not a real house were plenty big and, and it's it's i mean it's very monochrome it's very white marble gray and if you like that and if you don't know how to decorate things like me that's fine uh but yeah it's more like it looked like a corporate lawyer apartment it's yeah, a luxury yeah. it's a luxury apartment which i am biased against i think they're kind of creepy um but also, it seems to fit this couple pretty well, or at least it seems yeah. to fit him. This seems like mm-hmm. a place he's already lived. Um, also, he was pretty pumped that there was two different bathrooms that they could both <laughs> use. There's yes. Like, yeah, yeah. It almost seemed like, hey, we're together, but we don't want to be around each other. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, look, this is controversial because okay. it's came up in, in the last episode of House Please. Honeys. But gotta- <laughs> my husband and I, every time that we've had the opportunity We've used completely separate bathrooms. And mm-hmm. that yeah. is because one, I have tended to have like 
jobs where they want you there at 8 30 or 9 and then you know i'm getting up early i'm waking him up and he um also uh i can't live in that bathroom there's a lot of there's a lot of chaos my my grandparents they were they were together and then they got they separated and then when they got remarried they slept in separate beds uh until the end so i mean oh wow yeah one one, one had a really bad snoring issue and uh, yeah i remember that they were like yeah we can't we just can't be in the same room people sleep well, better in separate rooms yeah they yeah. do bring it, dude bring it back it's probably why divorce so out of control in this country <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> <sorry. Shared bed. laughs> absolutely yeah all right so sandy it's selection time wrap-up time what do they choose? What's our big right. takeaways? Uh, they go with house one for $1.82 million, which is significantly over asking, mm-hmm. significantly over even the high end of their budget. And as he very awkwardly puts it at the end, was quite uncomfortable. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it is twice. It is yeah. twice the asking price of the Oakland house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he said it. I tried. I went back again to try to get the quote. Yeah, it's way more than we're comfortable with, yep. and way more than we planned on paying. Yep. Yeah, and there's no. no qualifier after that. Like, but we love it. No, you, you know, <laughs> no. right? Yeah, but, like, yeah. but it's great here, and it'll all be fine. Nope, just they way are, more. They are now extremely house poor, uh, mm-hmm. with a shared backyard that they already seemed uncomfortable with. A tandem mm. parking situation, right? Which, and one bathroom. So I don't yeah. think we're staying together for very long. No. no. And the the parking thing, he was like, "Well, maybe we'll figure out how to make it side by side in the future." I was like, "It's a <laughs> single lane. <laughs> there, you yeah, can't no. do that." Yeah. Like when we move <laughs> out and break up, and we have to like sell this condo, and then we yeah. each have our own parking spaces in other places. Then we right. can. And then before that line about the uncomfortable, this is what I really went back. To Al, sometimes Bandit seems really yes. stressed out. Danielle, yes. do you think all this house hunting is stressing him out? Al, maybe he's picking up on your energy. Danielle, my energy, your energy. <laughs> yeah. yes. Even their fun banter about the dog park. Oh, so my fun. God. Let's yeah. leave Bandit. Maybe Bandit can go live with Tabitha because <laughs> this is. Jesus Christ, they are projecting like this is just the craziest. And they both are gritting their teeth and Mm smile. I think this is what it's like. This is why I can never live in California, because Mm -hmm. I'm from New Jersey. I grew up outside, just outside New York City. You know, when someone doesn't like you, they just they yell it. This is how I imagine California people who cannot deal with the fact that they have anger. You mean your energy? Yeah. Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the the dog definitely is like, can you guys just leave me outside? Right. Yeah, you guys shoot grapes at me. I'll take them. Danielle says, making herself feel better about the massive, massive, massive amount they went over their budget. Says, I think it spoke to both of us. It definitely spoke to me. Well, no <laughs> shit. <Yeah. laughs> I was gonna say this. So you guys obviously have this podcast. No, watch a lot of these shows. Does any guy actually go, I like this house. We're going to get this house because and I mean, rule of thumb. And then I think every guy thinks this way was like, oh, I, just, I want I want her to be happy and get that. No, oh, right. there are, there no. are no. plenty of times where the dude just cares about what he wants. Really? Uh, wow. A lot of times okay. they want land. Or they want a place to park yeah. a speedboat <laughs> or, yeah. you know, okay. or a right. camper. Yeah. Or sometimes like there's one. I didn't pick this one, but it's this guy in South Jersey who I guess was in the army for 25 years, retired. He's buying like a million dollar house and he keeps going to the real. It's just him. Keeps saying to the real estate agent who he is clearly hitting on. And just like, would this be nice? Would a, would a wife like this? what do you like yeah what do you what is it gonna take it's really creepy wow yeah no they want to or they want to have man caves oh man they need they need a wow they need a they need an outdoor space they need a pool 
You know what there, I mean? As, there was one guy who was so obsessed with the wood burning stove he had. I think it was a love it or list it where like they'd sacrifice like everything else to keep this wood burning stove. They like. Wow. Like, yeah, it was there. Are, there are plenty of dudes who are not about whatever. Interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Yeah. The, my favorite, though, we haven't had one of these yet, but there are also a lot of like multi-generational family buying a. Mm. Maybe they're buying a summer house, but maybe they're all going to live in the house or a mom and a son or, mm. a, you know, those yeah. are very interesting, you know, dynamics as well. Damn, well, that's weird. I, yeah. Or sometimes they've been dating for six months, long distance, and now they're buying an apartment in Chicago together. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Mark. I don't know if you know this. You, you mm. two probably know this, that. They have their house bought before they go on the show. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's it's okay. pretty it's pretty fake. Like they how else could you do it? You yeah. Could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in that group of idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I, that's of what course, I, yeah. I thought so until it came out. I thought the, the same sun- thing. Yeah. I've had but, uh, I told Blair, I was like, I've had four three or four friends on House Hunters, and I'm like, every one of them was like, Yeah, we own that house, and then they just made us take all our shit out of our house and then pretend it was fake and then move Oh back. no. Wow. Wait, oh, I okay. Can I may I ask? Are right, you have friends who've gone on? <laughs> do they get anything from it? It why did they want to be on it? Do you? Have um, any- great question. I, I don't know. It's 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 got to be an ego stroke. I've never asked them that question. I should. I'll reach out. I'll uh, ask them what the hell's wrong with y'all. Yeah, I'm very curious. <laughs> yeah. What like if you get some kind of like you get residuals? Do you get do you get like a thag? thing i don't know i don't know i think they're just fans it's of reality show. shows yeah, I don't know. well as i told sandy when she posed that question last episode i said oh i don't know just letting everyone know the intimate details of your life said the comedians uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The reason yeah we're that all we, doing it our comedians uh we like to have comedians as guests and are ourselves comedians because we really have no stones to throw we uh, don't right, right. <laughs> not at all yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, set hunters. Most of us it. don't live in houses, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I often like to just try to see, like, who was the villain? Who was that? There are no heroes in this story. Mm-hmm. I disliked both of these people quite a bit. I found them both very irritating. He's yeah. the villain. He's the villain? He's the villain. And I also, again, I last episode, the woman was the villain. Like, it's not that. It's mm-hmm. he's the villain here. Oh. She, I don't it's really want to, like, hang out with her, but, like, yeah. If I'm leaning one way, it, I would say he's he's 60. She's 40. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you have coming up with? Tell uh, all of our millions of listeners uh, what mm-hmm. you have coming up in the next couple of months. Comedy wise, what they should do to check you out. Hmm. Shane, you go ahead. OK, uh, I am uh, I am doing a show December 2nd featuring for Mike Mello at uh, Good Nights. Ah, Mr. Uh, Mello. Yeah. We're going to be in St. Louis at St. Oh. Uh, Helium Comedy Club, December 15th and 16th. Thanks, guys. And listeners, the next episode of House Hunters we'll be reviewing is titled Anything But a Trailer in Austin. Different platforms give different season and episode numbers. But if you're watching on Max, formerly HBO Max. That's volume eight, season 190, episode two. If you're watching on Prime Video or YouTube TV, it's season 209, episode nine. Until our next show, take care and make questionable real estate choices.